is Glam Zante and I'm back with another video and whatnot and whatever and what not see. So let me tell you guys what's going on. So today's video is going to be a little bit more. Well, number one, a bitch got a ponytail. Let's start there. A bitch got a ponytail. Period. Let me put it up front so y'all can see it's cute. <laughs> period. <laughs> First things first, you guys, I want you to follow me on all my social medias. Follow me on Glamazante on Instagram, Shop Glamazante, as well as shopglamazante.com. You guys, that is my new clothing website, my new apparel website. And also on March the 20th, I'm coming out with a new collection that will be extending to plus size. So make sure y'all on my website, March the 20th at midnight. You guys, it's going down. Everything's dropping. Shit is getting litty. And it's getting popping, okay? It's getting popping. So um, I want to get into this. First things first, you guys know prom season is right around the corner so of course I want to do a video for my girls honey show my girls where they can get their dresses from for the low low and cheap um you guys know I always do my annual prom drive I did it last year it was so amazing every girl left with bundles and a dress and all these bomb goodies and I just feel like you know with this year the coronavirus going on the place where I'm having my venue is shutting down for the coronavirus and stuff like that and unfortunately i don't think i'm going to be able to have the prom drive um it's not set in stone but i will be letting everybody know and i update it and i'm so kind of sad about it because every girl that reached out to me i probably will have to um do something special for them far as whether i send them a dress personally myself or or just talk to them and interact with them um versus not with my team but just me personally interacting with them so i can figure out what i can do to make their prom really amazing i got about five or six dresses that i got from jj's house um you guys they have a lot of dresses on there a bunch of different varieties colors silhouettes and all kinds of stuff it's very endless on there and you can use them for weddings proms um bridals um bridesmaids all that kind of stuff so if you're interested in looking for any type of formal wear dress or special occasion you definitely can go on there because they have some pretty dope stuff um, I know when they first reached out to me, I was like, maybe this might be a little sketch because it is an overseas country, an overseas um, store. But when I got the quality, everything was really, really good. It's very good quality. Overall, I was sharing you guys my experience and everything, and it's giving you my authentic opinion. So I got some bomb pieces. And also, I want to make this video kind of cool and funky, so I want to compare these to my prom. Um... But girl, when I tell you my problem was, oh, it was so crazy. Girl, it was so crazy. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show y'all. Just stay tuned. This is the ball gown sweetheart full length dress. You guys, I got it in the color red. It does come in a variety of other colors, so you can definitely check that out. Um, But here's the detailing on the dress. The dress is so big. It has so much tool on it, and it actually has like the um lacing in the back so it actually can fit a variety of sizes like i said even if it you're you get a size i would rather get it too small and too big because think about it you can lace it up in the back and nobody will be able to tell if it's too big it's kind of hard to get those lacy dresses to look a lot bigger honestly i was very shocked myself i wasn't expecting it to be this bomb okay i wasn't expecting it to be this bomb of the quality on the dresses now this dress was actually $209. I don't feel like it was that bad of a price for this dress, honestly. I like the dress. It was very, very full at the bottom. It had a lot of tool. Like I said, the quality of the top of it looked very good. It was very pretty. It has like a it has that jazzy look with the diamonds, but it's not overdoing it. So it's like diamonds everywhere going crazy. But for $209, I definitely think it's very um good. I know what me and my prom dresses, girl, they used to run me a mother freaking grip. $209 is definitely not that bad on JJ's. Um, you definitely should order your dress because I want to make sure you guys get it in enough time and that the shipping and everything is pretty okay. But with me, the shipping really wasn't that bad. Maybe like one week, one and a half weeks. Um, I did get red you guys know red is not really my favorite color on me but i wanted to give y'all a good choice because i know a lot of you girls love red to give yourself enough time because if this is your prom or a special occasion or whatever you're trying to use it for you don't want to waste till the last minute you definitely don't but this dress was 209 dollars definitely was worth it i feel like when i look at dresses like this i expect them to be thousands of dollars thousands so when i seen this i was like okay i'm here for it i'm here also another thing i want to show you guys is when they send you the dresses they send them in these bags so they are in here they're sealed up water 
can't really get into it and damage her or nothing. So the dresses do come in here very secure. Um, and also this is a great way to keep the dresses contained because they can get very big and very full. So they do package the dresses like this. I literally took my dresses straight out of the box, out of the bag into showing you guys. But let me know what you guys think about this dress as we're going along. Let me know if you like the red one or if you're not liking it. I like it. Um, I just know with me and red, I have a love hate red relationship with red i feel like when i post instagram pictures in red everybody loves it when i wear red myself i'm just like girl you don't look that cute <laughs> but i know it's probably an inside thing with me so yeah okay so next with this one i try to go for a more simplistic look i know when i did my prom drive last year it was a couple girls that wanted to be more simplistic just wanted to be more like simple so of course i wanted to give you guys variety too and show y'all these this was it um <laughs> So yeah, this is one of the dresses. It's very simplistic. It's very like, you know, it's pretty simple. Um, one thing about this dress though, I will say to you guys is that when I got this dress, it actually had like a little hole in the back of it. Um, it was a little tear in it, but you know, I discussed that with the company and they were willing to send me another one. But I'm like, you know, it's okay. I can just review it and show them. But this one did come with a little hole in it. This was the only dress that came a little bit damaged, but it was like a quick fix. The company was definitely willing to work with me and talk through and fix everything out. Um, but it's one of the things where if you know how to stitch real quick, you can go ahead and sew it up. Of course, you wouldn't want to, you shouldn't feel obligated to have to, but it wasn't like a big disadvantage for me. But overall, with this one, I got a size 10. I should have got this one in a size 8. Um, it does fit very very smooth on my body I love the way it has that little train it's like a little elegant or whatever you know it's a little vibe but it does fit overall pretty good I just wish it was more tighter so it could give me that real bomb look but the train does hang out on it I love the train because it's dramatic so it's like that simple but still a dramatic impact on it I feel like with this dress I would wear it to like if I had like a formal event to go to or something but like I said for me with prom I always did like to do it out wild crazy but i feel like i can understand if y'all don't want to do that and this dress was actually 131 dollars so uh, um and one issue i did have with it is it does come with a lining on the inside of it now with the lining i feel like it can do better without you can actually see the lining through the dress so i feel like if you was to cut the lining out it would be the best um i feel like but when you have the lining you actually can see the little bit of lines in it so the lining to me serves no purpose because you actually can see the lining more versus if you didn't have anything underneath because it isn't like it's horrible quality like you actually have spandex here it's pretty thick you guys can't really see through it you can't really see through it so you know i feel like they should have just left the lining out it's like a lining skirt at the um bottom part so i feel like they should just left that out but other than that everything seemed cool with it next 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 is this y'all probably like, what in the freak am i looking at girl girl um a two-piece so this is like the top and then this so this is very very heavy duty quality okay and then you got the fronting area of it like this and then in the back it actually has the little you know you around the buttons around the buttons trumpet mermaid off the shoulder prom dress um, it's very very full at the bottom. I love that the skirt does fit pretty well as well I got this in a size 10 in a color candy pink. I wish the skirt was a little bit more tighter um, The top of it doesn't fit as adequate So I'm assuming that I needed a size 8 in that as well, which is okay. It still fit It just didn't fit as tight as I would like it to be Um, it does have like an off-the-shoulder type of thing So I thought that was really cute. Um, one thing I do say you need kind of help getting into it with the buttons I was able to do it myself it took me a long time though like I had to pull it to the front do the buttons and then twist it to the back so take that into consideration if you're trying to get it off quick or if you're trying to do that and that okay not that I'm just like y'all know skirt at the bottom though my god y'all know I love me some tool I love me some pink I love me some freaking tool so um yeah that one I'm a pink girl I love pink my prom dress when I went to um <laughs> when I went to prom with this dress it reminds me of when I went with the mermaid dress and girl I was telling you I was a hot damn mess okay hot damn mess this one actually is 188 dollars i'm definitely not mad at the price because anything to say one something is definitely um really really good so 188 dollars for that you get it like a two-piece dress i know some people like that tight tight snug look and that's definitely given with me i wish i had got a size eight i love it it's really really cute it's really really fluffy whoops it's really really fluffy and it's giving like a princess type of energy so i think one girl would look amazing and really cute in that like i said it offering a bunch of different colors as well but i happen to get it in the candy pink 
So you see this one is like baby pink up here and then it has the pink and blue tool at the bottom with the diamonds. So this one is extra dry, um, jazzy. But one thing about this I will say is it is a ball gown but it's not as fluffy as the red one. The red one was definitely way more fluffier. This one is kind of like a ball gown but it kind of hangs down a little bit. Um, so you know take that into consideration it's not as poofy it's a little poof like almost a poof like this the other one is poof like this so just keep that in consideration with me i always wanted to be very particular i wanted a poof like this i didn't want that poof that was giving me like a line you know oh and it's 199 dollars um this one's still very pretty it's very cute it has a lot of beading on the detailing it's very jazzy though i like the diamonds it's giving me va va voom in your face it's giving me real princess it's giving me cotton candy it's giving me that type of energy size so it's very, very tight. Make sure it definitely isn't going anywhere. And you can put it through the loops as well. Oh my God. So I say, let me get my boobies up. Okay, so the last one I ended up getting was the most expensive. It was $309. It is a white dress. I got it in a size 8. And girl, she is amazing. I can see this in somebody's wedding dress. That's how amazing it is. The ball gown, sweetheart, court train dress. Oh my God. A little bit of detailing because I know y'all can't really get down to it, get down to it. This one and then it has the lacing on the back. Uh, with the dresses that have so much lacing in the back, I literally skipped the lace. So it actually laces even more closer than that. I just skipped the lace for time um, being on the dresses. But when I tell you this fucking dress, oh lord forgive me, I didn't want to cuss. Freaking dress is so bomb like number one it just frillies out so much it goes in and out it's just so pretty it's so big it has so much freaking volume um i know a lot of seniors they say seniors are supposed to wear their their senior dress is supposed to be white and it's supposed to be like you know i don't know why honestly when i figure it out i'll put it here somewhere but the senior dress is supposed to be white and i just seen that dress and i'm just like i want to try it girl when i tell you i was thinking about it i'm like i want my wedding dress to give this energy this is the type of energy I want my wedding dress to give. It's just giving real cute, fluffy, in your face, big. It's white. It has a freaking train on it. Like, it's a little train on it, but it's a train, girl. It's a real train. So, I'm just like, if anything can happen to this dress, it will be, girl, perfect. It comes in ivory. It comes in white. It comes in, like, a beige color. So, you can definitely check it out. Like I said, they have a lot of things on their website. But when I say this dress, this is my favorite dress. It's my favorite. I love it. I'm feeling it. I'm here for it. Okay, y'all. So, I promised y'all that I would get into my freaking prom pictures. And, girl, it was just a whole tragedy. And I'm going to give y'all a little spiel on how each day went. It's not going to be long. It's just going to be something real smooth. So, my first prom, I went. I was in 10th grade. And I went with a senior. I was dating this boy. He was a basketball player. He was, like, the star athlete everywhere. Everybody loved him. Um... <laughs> So that was my boyfriend at the time, girl. So he took me to prom with him. So I wore this big pink ball gown dress. I was loving it. I hated my hair. Like my hair at the time, it was in because it was fish scales. But girl, I hate my hair when I look back at it now. I wish I just had wore it down or did something like princessy. But it was cute, you know. He was real tall. We looked really nice. He had his little white and pink or whatever. And I spent the night for prom, you know. I begged my mother. Um, but yeah, I had fun. That was my first prom dress when I went when I was in 10th grade. I was in 11th grade and I went with this boy. He was not my boyfriend, but we was cool. We was like friends. Yes, he tried to get my kicks, but bitch, I was not having it. But oh um, no. So I went with him. I wore this dress. This dress I found it at like so I went to go get a prom dress and honestly it was on clearance. So I was like, oh my god, it's really pretty. I'll take it. I just grabbed it and I ended up I like my hair with this one though because my hair was like it had like green in it if you could tell so I have a lime green in my hair and the curls and stuff and then I had you know it was like a mermaid style it was a mermaid style dress so it was like really really tight and real poofy at the bottom so I feel like the dresses that I picked kind of reflect some of the dresses that I picked when I was going to prom honestly but um I love this dress it was very cute it was it was a vibe it was really really nice and um my prom night was cool i just feel like it was just so much going on um and you know me i'm wild carefree girl and at the prom honey i was i was best dressed bitch i was cute i had me a jumper i had me some suspenders y'all know that's what it that was the tea back in the day that was the tea then my last prom i think this probably was one of my worst proms ever 
I'm not even gonna lie to you. So number one, I was supposed to go with this boy. Um, at first, the boy, he used to get in trouble all the time. He was older than me. So it was my senior prom. And I wanted to take him because I didn't have no ass to go with. And literally, um, he had to get special permission to come because he was a fugitive. And then they let him come. And then literally, like, he was supposed to get his tugs. He said he was getting it and doing all this other shit. Girl, this nigga didn't even have no money. He never even got his damn tugs. Like, my brother was going to ask to take me to prom. So I was like, no. So my mama, I was just going to say I'm not going to go to prom. So my mom ended up having to pay for his tugs. And when my mom paid for his tugs, um, I was able to go to prom. And then, girl, I was like, after we walked across the stage for the Grand March, I don't know if y'all do that. Like, we have a stage for prom. So when it's prom, everybody comes out with their guests on stage. And then they walk through. You show, they call y'all name, y'all walk through, y'all twirl, do something, and then y'all walk off. Girl, so after that, I was like, mama, you can take him back home. Like, I don't even want him to stay at prom with me. So literally, after prom, my mom, after we walked across stage, I was like, mom, just take him back home. So literally, he didn't even stay for prom or after prom, which I was probably fine with. Um, My dress, I had borrowed it from one of my friends. So I had a friend, I think she was like older than me or something, and she let me use her dress. So, because I was broke as well, honestly. <laughs> I just feel like, uh, that's crazy. That's the first time I actually said it to somebody. But, um, yeah, so I had to borrow my dress for senior prom, which was cool. You know, I still look cute. It wasn't my favorite dress. I, I really, if I could do it over again, I definitely would have changed my dress. But it was a white dress, but it was that more of that A-line thing. It wasn't more of, like, that poofy look. So I wish I had, like, a petticoat or something or um, tool train or something underneath the dress so it could poof out more. But it was still okay. Um, I don't really remember I feel like with that prom, you know, I just did my own makeup. I did all, like, literally, I was just like, it is what it is. Like, how I, how I'm going to get it is how I'm going to live. Like, it is what it is. Like, I ain't really care. And after that, I just was like, you know what? F prom. I was over it. So, I feel like that's why I tried to do this prom giveaway thing. And I always try to do my prom, annual prom drive. Because I just know how it is not to really have much. And when you want to really look bomb and you just want to slay. And you ain't got the money to. And you just don't want to borrow somebody's dress. So, you kind of rather just have your own. Um, so I feel like that's why I do my prom drives and that's why I do videos like this for affordable things like this because you know I want y'all to be able to afford to go to prom and I want y'all to even I want y'all really to have a bomb time and honestly make sure you don't get no scrub of a date because these niggas be wildin' even when they're younger like they just be full of it so I hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe and let me know what you guys think about these dresses comment below which one was your favorite dress and also, like I said, on March the 20th, you guys need to make sure you're at shoplimazante.com because I will be dropping my new collection, my first custom design collection by yours truly, sis. And this collection, I put my blood, heart, sweat, and soul into it. And also, I'll be having a video drop and a documentary on sharing my experience behind this and how I felt about doing everything. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah! See ya!